Hello everyone! So I think this is now um, day five of videos that I've shared for um, kind of my journey back to school. And um, each time I start a video, uh, mainly because I just have something I want to share with you guys as far as a tip or something new I learned. Um, and actually this time it's going to be a tip. So um, for a bunch of the vocabulary, um, typically I was looking for doing using index cards to actually make flashcards. Um, and the so the platform that I'm actually doing school through, they have a digital version of flashcards, but there's something really to be said about physically handwriting, um, just definitions and words. Uh, it just sticks in your brain a lot easier um, and just more significantly. And so instead of buying index cards, I had a bunch of these mini notebooks because um, I used to just kind of toss them in each of my purses or bags, backpacks, and um, that's mainly for whenever I'm out and I like have a thought and I want to write something down, so I'll just usually have a pen with it. And I realized it's actually just so much better to use these as flashcards. So what I ended up doing was um, on all the first pages, I wrote the definition and then on the back is the actual term. So this way I'm able to read through it essentially like a book and then try and um, you know, be able to come up with what the word actually is based on the definition. And then I turn the page and there it is. So it's basically flashcards, but um, just a little notebook version. Uh, it's also just, I don't know why no one did this sooner. Like I never did this in school, like in elementary school. It's just so much better because it's all attached to each other because of this right here, this ring. So um, it's just so much better than, than using index cards and then wrapping a rubber band around it and they all fall all over the place. It's also more compact and they're thinner pages. So just a little tip if you guys want to do that. I got these for, oh gosh, like 12 cents at Walmart, I think. Like just really very inexpensive um, pieces of paper. And yeah, so I've been doing that. And what I really like about it too is um, I have astronomy word of the week on um, my my email newsletter that I send out every Saturday, which reminds me, I guess, no, I'm gonna skip this Saturday because it's the final week in August and I gotta put together everything for September. Um, oh yeah, I probably have to send that out midweek. Anyway, that's totally something different, but point is I'm coming up with, um, or I'm learning a bunch of new vocabulary words I could share with people, like for instance, the sidereal day. And the sidereal day is um, based on Earth's rotation period defined by the positions of the stars in the sky. Um, so it's the time between the successive passages of the same stars through the meridian. So basically um, determining where Earth is located in its orbit and its rotation period. Um, so its orbit and also its turning on its axes based on the stars that are currently in the sky. Um, and so yeah, and so that that was like really cool. Um, just kind of going through a bunch of terminology, and yeah, so that's that is that. Um, alrighty, bye.